Let's start the project by creating the Pure Data Metronome that will be the heart of the LivePD Metronome app. The Pure Data Metronome will consist of multiple abstractions, each with their own specific purpose. The first abstraction that we'll work on will be the abstraction responsible for creating the click sound. We'll call this the click abstraction. I've got a patch open, and I will navigate to a folder that I created ahead of time for all of my PD patches, and I'll save this as click.pd. Now, the first thing that I'll create will be an inlet, and this inlet will take a bang as its argument. So the bang will come from the metronome timing mechanism that we'll create in a moment. And then I'll create an outlet, and the outlet will send out a signal, and that will be the sound made by this abstraction. So let's work on that portion of the patch now. I'll create an oscillator that is at a default rate of 440 hertz, and I'll connect that to a multiplication audio object. I'll shape the amplitude of the oscillator with a V line. To produce a quick click sound, I'll create a message that drives the V line to ramp up within one millisecond and then down within 20 milliseconds after a 30 millisecond delay. I'll connect the inlet of the abstraction to the message, and then I'll connect the audio multiplication object to the DAC, and then turn on the DSP and click the message box. We know what the click sounds like now, so we can get rid of the DAC object and then connect the outlet of the audio multiplication object to the outlet of this abstraction. Finally, I'm going to implement a way for us to enter in the frequency as an argument for the subpatch. So I'll create a dollar sign one object. And then I'll connect a load bang to that. And that load bang will ensure that the argument is sent from the dollar sign one object to the oscillator each time the argument is changed. Now it's time to test this abstraction. So we'll create a new patch and save it as metronome.pd. I'll create a new object called click. And then for the argument, I'll type 880. And this 880 is what is sent to that dollar sign one object within the abstraction. Let me go ahead and connect a bang to the inlet. And then I'll connect the outlet to the DAC. Turn on the DSP and test the abstraction. The abstraction works as intended. I'll create another copy and change the argument to an octave lower. And basically we're creating the high and low click for our metronome. The click abstraction is now complete. Next, we'll move on to creating the metronome timing mechanism.